Hello, my name is Dr. Andrew Way, a haematologist from the Alfred Hospital in Melbourne, Australia. Today I'm going to talk to you about the results of the Viali C study. For many decades, uh, and in many places around the world, low dose RSC is the mainstay of treatment for older patients with acute mild leukemia who are not fit for intensive chemotherapy. Conventionally, outcomes with low dose RSC are very modest, with response rates on the order of about 11 to 15%, and median survival uh, ranges uh, less than six months. The RLC was a phase three study which followed on from the phase 1b results of venetoclax plus low dose RSC in older patients with AML considered unfit for intensive chemotherapy. Prior studies showed uh, very promising response rates and therefore this led to the randomized uh, placebo blinded study uh, comparing low dose RSC with venetoclax compared to low dose RSC plus placebo. The study was randomized in a two to one ratio and enrolled 211 patients. 143 patients received low dose RSC plus venetoclax. And the primary endpoint of the study was overall survival. With an additional six months of follow up, which was the main focus of the presentation at the European Hematology of Association meeting, the uh, low dose RSC plus venetoclax arm resulted in a 30% reduction in the risk of death. In summary, the overall survival for patients receiving low dose RSC plus venetoclax was 8.2 months uh, compared to 4.1 months for patients receiving low dose RSC alone. Impressively, the response rates amongst patients receiving low dose RSC plus venetoclax were also substantially higher, with 48% of patients achieving a response compared to only 13% of patients receiving low dose RSC alone. Furthermore, these responses were durable. With low dose RSC plus venetoclax, uh, responses lasted for an average of 12 months compared to six months for those receiving low dose RSC alone. These responses were associated with a higher rate of transfusion independence, which was uh, twice that uh, in the low dose RSC plus venetoclax arm compared to low dose RSC alone. And furthermore, uh, patients, uh, uh, particularly with uh, nuclear phosma mutations, had a very impressive uh, response rate of 79% uh, in the low dose RSC plus venetoclax arm. This phase three study was the culmination of a series of studies, uh, commencing with uh, venetoclax monotherapy, then followed by phase one studies uh, comparing um, or examining low dose RSC plus venetoclax, and finally the randomized trial. In concert with the Viali A trial, which uh, was a positive study showing improvements in overall survival with low dose RSC with, with azacitidine plus venetoclax compared to azacitidine alone, uh, these two studies are cement. Uh, the role of venetoclax for the treatment of older patients with AML.